Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. So we are now wearing our brand new set of armor. This is the ancient vampire armor we picked up from Tesham Mutna. So what do we got? We've got the Tesham Mutna armor, heavy armor. We've got it fully geared out. We've got plenty. I went basically for sign intensity on all of this. I don't think I put anything else other than sign intensity on it because I had pretty good resistances already. So we basically just boosted our stuff. Plus, because we have all six pieces of this armor set, killing opponents restores vitality to us as well. So that should be really useful. Um, we are actually rocking out with the Erundite Silver Sword, which uh, generates an increase damage every blow, which is pretty nice. And we have the Tesha Mutna Steel Sword. Now, this one has a lot of bonuses on it. 75% critical hit damage bonus, 50% critical hit chance, 50% chance to cause bleeding, 20% chance to stun, and then I've added to that 5% chance to stagger, 5% chance to stun, and a 5% chance to poison. So, basically, this thing's pretty hardcore, and I'm quite interested in trying this out. I don't normally wear heavy armor. You get more defense from it, but it also wears out your stamina faster, but we'll see how that works out for us. We now need to go escort Anna Henrietta, not the Duchess, not uh, whatever her usual name is, or her rank or whatever, but we are dis we are going to be escorting her incognito, as it were. Let's tell her we are ready to go. We all await. You are holding things up. May we depart for Castel Ravello. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go do this yeah, thing. ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. That makes sense. She is uh, pretty well dressed for the occasion, I would say. Or pretty much too well dressed for the occasion. If we're travelling incognito, you probably don't want to be wearing like giant pearl necklaces and stuff. You know, don't look like you're worth millions of pounds or millions of crowns, I guess, in this situation. So the plan is we are travelling to a nearby winery, or vineyard, or whatever you want to call it, to investigate a bottle of wine that is made specially for the ducal household. But we found it as incriminating evidence as part of this uh, the beast's plot to kill these people, or at least who the beast is being ordered to kill. We are travelling quite a way. Okay. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. I mean, we do have access to an unbreakable vampire cage. If we could incapacitate the vampire, then it is possible we could actually, you know, just lock him up in Tesha Mutna. It's what it's there for. Um, of course, Regis probably wouldn't allow us to do that to his friend, because, you know, he's his friend, and Regis is definitely on, you know, his side. Panthers have attacked the hey wagon! There. We must help! Oh. Stay back, your grace! We shall see to this! Back, you beast! Be gone! Oh, panthers. Actual, straight-up panthers. Well, cool, he's actually fending them off. This shall be your final uh, let's go for some Igni. Everything catch fire, please. Save Ow. Ow! Okay, that, that is a really quick panther. As opposed to your usual slow panthers. Okay, I'm quite liking this sword. I'm working on it. Ow! 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 Okay, panthers are down. Done. Time to move on. Eat some meat, get our health back. If not for Ooh, you, and we'd have up. been done for. Thank you. By. You oh, saved our lives. Hooray! Okay, everyone seems to be talking quite fast. I'm not sure why. Uh, where's that one? Might as well grab that. Ooh, raw meat. Perfect. I am using raw meat as my go-to healing right now, so... That works out well for us. And we're off again. They summoned a witch. Tell me more about this vineyard. Castel Ravello. I mean, you don't have to, but I'd like it if you did tell me more about this vineyard. It's the best in Mortusa. 
An old master of the winemaking trade, Rancic. Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we... Oh, we shall know when we arrive. We've just arrived. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. At once? That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Hmm. Want to talk to you or here for an inspection? Good damn. Geralt looks actually quite intimidating in that armor. That's rather impressive. Um. Inspection, I think. This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, your grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to Fantastic. talk about Saint Real? I am at your service. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go from top to bottom. Well, no, bottom to top. Actually, have they had any wine stolen? Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have. But any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days passed, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. Hmm, okay. And how do they transport the wine? Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Two questions. Your Grace? I, I managed to ask two questions before she got bored. Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. They're all vampires. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But silence and listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In, in the main cellar around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Okay. Are you gonna hang? We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. Okay, I was gonna say someone needs to keep an eye on Fabricio so he doesn't just leg it. You know, if I'd just been what shouted at like that, I would have. You know, fled. That? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Hmm. I have thoughts about the fact we're heading down into the cellar, just the two of us. Not the good kind of thoughts. Is there anything down here? Let's use our witcher senses. Not detecting any monsters, but 
you know, that's not always as useful as it could be. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Mm -hmm. Here's the inventory ledger. Okay. Read the wine register. Mm, vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is. Barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Okay, find Sangriel from 1269. Sure. What's that? A uh, history of Est Est. I shall take that book. I shall read that book quickly. There's not much there. What else we got? Oh, have I got unread stuff? What's this? Suspicious letter. Oh, these are the letters we picked up from Detlef. Yeah, that's about him being blackmailed. Uh, and the beast's target so far, Count Crespi. Actually, we haven't read this one. So, sheet one. Count Crespi called himself a knight, but spat in the face of chivalry. That's why he should not die with a sword in his hand, but atone for his dishonour on the town pillory. He was a rogue, and he should die a rogue's death. Sheet two. You did well with Count Crespi. He got what he deserved. Now it's time for Ramon du Luc. That idiot thought he was smarter than a new penny, always issuing his judgment, judgments, which broke people's futures and necks. He was a fool and should die like a fool, alone, with no weapon, in a dark alley. With a broken neck. Count Delacroix, Count Delacroix committed the basest of acts out of his love for money. He tore to shreds the hearts of those who trusted him. That is why you will cut him to pieces and attach the coin pouch accompanying this letter to his body. So that was, that was Detlef's friend, who we had to murder on these orders. Your penultimate victim is Milton de Periac Peran. He who should have shown valour in the defence of the innocent turned out to be the greatest coward of the Buclair knighthood. That is why he must die like a coward. You will kill him during the tournament, when the hare hunt commences in the Ducal Gardens. Milton will be the hare. He will escape, like a coward. Then you will hunt him down and kill him, just like a hunter kills a coward. So there's definitely a theme running through this, you know. Count Crespi spat in the face of chivalry... Uh, Raymond du Lac uh, abused his position. Count Delacroix, um, uh, you know, did bad things for money. I'm guessing. Um, and Milton de Perac de Peron was accused to be a coward. Now Milton was one of our friends, or at least we knew him. So that seems a bit odd, but okay. Interesting. Ooh, what's this? Evolution, 1269 vintage. Not what I'm looking for. Sangreal. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Well, I've been stealing a hell of a lot of alcohol from a lot of people, so... And she doesn't seem to mind, so I'm going to nick some wine from here as well. Not that I actually ever use any of it, but hey. Okay, we've got a barrel tap. I don't know what I need that for. Take some of that, thank you very much. Okay, what's this? Est Est, 1269. Not what we're looking for? Est Est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous. Fiorano, 1272. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palate of his. Okay, I thought that was going to be worse. Um, her and Dandelion had, like, a thing going on. It ended badly. Uh, she... Basically, try to have him killed. I'm, I'm, yeah. Just don't mention dandelion a whole bunch. I would say, wooden hammer. Fine, I'll steal a wooden hammer. Why not? Short history of Pomino. Okay, so this is the winery we're currently at, or the vineyard. What? I don't know. They keep, you know, it's the place we're currently at. Uh, does not enjoy the fame of Estes or even Evolution. It still attracts a considerable number of admirers and remains among the best wines in the world. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, bit of history there, not too bad. Uh, right, which barrel is this? Are you Sangreal? Nope, Pamino, 1273. Got Pamino over here. Okay, read that one, read that one, read that one. That's it, isn't it? There's no more... Oh, maybe up... Oh, yeah, upstairs. Gotta go to the upper level. Okay... 
not too worried about stealing every single bottle of wine that's down here, let's be honest. Sangreal! 1269. Fantastic. Found it. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okay. Tap the wine barrels. Full. This one's full too. Okay. Oh good, Anna is helping out. I was about to make a sarcastic comment about her just standing there watching me do all the work. This one's full too. Oh, now she is just standing around watching me do all the work. Full. Is that it? Oh no, there's one left. She did one barrel. Thank you, Henrietta, for the help there. This one's full too. I Looks like all the barrels yep. are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of San Riyadh? Grab a tap and a hammer. We Ooh. shall open them one by one and taste. I already Ready? did. We can start. Okay, are we opening? Wow, we are going to get so wasted. Ready. Step aside. Oh man, I don't even get to drink the wine. It's going to take a while. Where did you get that cup from? So? Mm, slightly smoky, strongly tannic, definitely son real. I don't even know what tannic means, but sure, whatever. Isn't this going to, like, ruin all the wine or something? Okay, she's definitely going to be drunk by the end of this. Those are not small gulps she's taking. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio... Let's see what he has to say about it. Okay, so someone's stolen an entire barrel, by the looks of it, of extremely rare wine. Ooh. Harsh. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I, I I admit it. I I, I sold a barrel of Sorial. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here. Nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Hmm, okay. I don't I don't really care about why he did it, I care who we sold it to. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall black-haired and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Hmm. Okay. How are you planning on hiding the, the disappearance of an entire barrel? Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. 
I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Yeah, she doesn't really seem like the forgiving kind of person. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Interesting. This, wow, well, first off, you're going to sell another barrel, you idiot. And secondly, I think we can do something about that. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Okay. I think we can definitely Need do that a minute. momentarily. Make haste. We await only you. Of course you do. Okay, well, this episode is pretty much running to time, so I'm going to take a break here. We definitely have we another lead have and another mission. Grace. So, you two are going to chat. I'm going to move away. So, we go to Fort Astra. I don't know if we know where Fort Astra is. I'm going to look at my map quickly. Do we know Do we know a Fort Astra? Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of undiscovered locations. So, honestly, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? Um, well, there is kind of a fortification up here, though. I wouldn't be surprised if that was Fort Astra. But we'll have to see. Anyway... I'm going to take a break here, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.